Now 10, 11, and 12 are giving you the pictures of the two graphs and they want you to rewrite what the equation should be. So keep in mind that if I have x minus something, it went to the right. If I had x plus something, it went to the left. If I had a plus number on the end, it went up. And if I had a minus number on the end, it went down. And so what we want to do is look at the graph. The original graph is always starting at 0, 0. This is the graph of x squared. We want to translate our graph 2 to the right and down 3. 2 to the right and down 3. So we know that with our x, we have to do x minus 2 in order to make it go 2 to the right. In order to go down 3, we're going to have a minus 3 on the end. But we have to look at our original graph. On our original graph, it was a squared one, which means the x part of this has to be squared. And so k of x, which is our new function, is going to be equal to x minus 2 squared minus 3. And that's going to be my new equation. So on number 11, if I look at this graph, this is an absolute value function. I want this graph to go 1, 2 to the right and 1, 2, 3, 4 down. So 2 to the right, 4 down. So if I'm going to go 2 to the right, I'm going to do x minus 2. If I'm going to go 4 down, I'm going to have a minus 4. But in this case, my x has the absolute values around it. So if I'm going to do k of x, I really don't need the parentheses since I have the absolute value. I'm going to have x minus 2 minus 4, and that would translate my graph 2 to the right, down 4. Number 12. This time we have a square root function. Always the original one starts at 0, 0 because there's no shift to it. So this one we want to go 1, 2, 3 to the left and 1, 2, 3, 4 up. Left 3, up 4. 3 to the left, up 4. So left 3 means I'd have to have x plus 3. Up 4 means a plus 4. This one has a square root over the x part of it. So again, for k of x, since this is under the square root, we really don't need the parentheses. It doesn't hurt if you put them there. But I have the square root of x plus 3 on the outside of the square root. So make sure you hit the space bar and get off of the square root. The plus 4 is going to go on the end. So my new equation, that shifts at 3 to the left, up 4 x plus 3 and plus 4.